So, one thing I've noticed, so you hear a lot of people say, you are what you eat. Um, you are also what you think. The way you control the conversations that go on in your head determines There we are. Fortune 2. I will take that for now. That's all you are. Jerk. Sharpness. Ooh. You know what? I am going to go... Well, I'm going to uh, do another farm run. And maybe I might make another... Um, another sword and use it this time with that sharpness this would be nice to be diamonded up diamonded up oh boy that is not cool why did that happen did I trample you and didn't realize it probably Yeah, um, I know when I was a kid, I was very depressed, and I, you know, still struggle. Once you have it, you always will, so I still struggle with it every once in a while, but I realized, getting over it, that you can control the inner voice in your head, and so what I had done is every time I had a negative thought, something I did not want to think, I visualized it and kind of X'd it out of my head. What am I looking for? Oh, that's right. Um, so eventually, I do have pumpkin seeds somewhere. There you are, I just need one. Eventually you kind of train yourself not to think that way. And it takes a lot of dedication and time. And it's hard. But when you're borderline suicidal and you don't want to be anymore, you, it's amazing what you can put yourself through. Hey, buddy. Climb. Fall. Really? Really? You coming at me? Huh? Can't believe you did that. That was so rude. I was just talking about controlling the way you think, and you had to attack me? So if your um, conversations, <laughs> I call them conversations, if your thoughts, your inner monologue is negative, uh, you can control it. And it's really hard to do, so I don't suggest you ask me, well, Keith, how do you control it? No. <laughs> it's hard. I still deal with it every day. But being aware of it is a good place to start. And you know, um, if somebody really kind of bothers you and makes your life miserable, just leave it alone. Go and you know, the eye for an eye is just causing more eyes for people to eye. And all it does is escalate things. So yeah. Um, I don't really believe that. And I do believe that everybody in this 
planet. Even people like Charles Manson were born good people. It was their upbringing that changed them. Or whatever. Ultimately, what I'm saying is no matter how evil somebody is, there is still good in them. They just have lost it. And you can either care about somebody enough to help them find that good in them, or to give up on them and not care. And I uh, have a hard enough time dealing with me and so forth to really care about working on people I don't know. Plus, you're not going to want to change unless you want to change. <laughs> you're not going to change unless you want to, basically. It's basically, uh, with when I smoked cigarettes, I loved my cigarettes. I kissed my cigarettes. I made love with them. Not literally, but I loved everything about it. I loved the way they tasted, they smelled, and the way they went down and all that. I was a pro smoker all the way. And I was never going to quit until I wanted to. So I never tried until I wanted to. And as soon as I wanted to, I quit right away. I guess I'll leave the bad potato for later. I'm a hoarder in this game. Kind of like Pack Rat. I don't like to give up on things. Once I realize my inventory is full and I can't store any blocks when I'm mining, I'll go empty them so I can collect the second chest full of cobble that I don't need. But I'm a pack rat like that. Let's see. I don't have any of those on me. I don't have any of those on me. I don't have any of those on me. I do have some of those. And some of those. I'm going to feed, oops, now I can get this poisoned potato, and I don't want you in there. Where did you go? You were supposed to go there. Almost got the carrot farm up and running. I guess I could raid those villages better to get the rest of the carrots. I was going to go on to another subject um, for a little bit about stuff, and I really kind of forget where I was going to go. I'll remember in a minute. Basically, um, if you like to control... the. Oh, a rabbit must have fallen down the hole. Okay. If you want to be in control of your life, get control of your emotions. A lot harder to do than it seems. See, it's already nighttime again. Like, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm contributing that much word wise in this video, but I must be because time is flying. Oops. I'm gonna unload some of my inventory, take a nap. Uh, yeah, we'll throw you up there. I'll take one of you. We don't really have enough andesite to do what I, oh my god, is that all the andesite I have? Really? Tons of gravel. Huh. Andesite's going to be like the main building block, and I'm going to need like five double chests of these things. I hope I, uh, when I, maybe I have some down at the mine. Okay. Well, oh. I got some potato. Where's the potato chest? There we go. Put you up there. I don't 
here. I'll take a little bit of wood. Maybe. We don't have anything there that I need. Weird stuff. Was this my smite? Oh, wait, my sharpness five. Okay. I got the picks. That's a nice pick. You know what? I think I might combine these two. I'll do that later. Let's get this last level. Get the sword done. As I'm going down the stairs, I'll take a look at my time. Okay. It's not as much time as I thought, which is fine. Another drink. Hold on. At least here I'm making mobs. I don't have anything in you. I do have a couple of records. Dark oak fences. Ooh, another record. Some gold hidden in here. I'll take that with me. I do ultimately want to get rid of that chest. Okay, did we bring that? That's no biggie. So I'm like racking my head. I was going to talk about something else. Dinner. <laughs> oh. One thing. If you're, you know, college is good, especially if you get a scholarship. Right? If you get a scholarship to college, definitely go. But make sure um, what you might want to do before you go to college, especially if you are still living at home, is take six months and do eight hours a day. Work for eight hours a day for those six months, like a regular job on something that you enjoy doing to get a living going so if you want to it doesn't matter what it is if you want to do youtube if you want to do streaming if you want to do art if you want to be a musician take eight hours a day five days a week at least five days a week and work for that goal because i'm in a situation i'm at a job i don't really care for but it pays me enough money to do what I want to do for the most part. Um, and I'm kind of stuck at that job. A job I don't like. And I don't have the ability to take six months of my life to spend eight hours a day. Um, I forget where I heard it, but it's if you are passionate about something and you are doing it eight hours a day for six months, take that six months, you should be able to get a career going spending that much time on it focus your energies on it because um, you don't want to be working for somebody else your life you want to be doing something that you enjoy doing for a living and uh, I would do that before you go to college especially if you can do it at living at home so you don't have to really worry about expenses other than basic I and mean, I mean if you if you're living with your parents and they need rent or something if they're charging you I don't know something stupid for rent uh, go get a part-time job but also while you're doing that part-time job do the eight hours a day on something that you're enthusiastic about something that you really enjoy doing um, and it should pan out if you're smart enough um, and when I mean smart enough is that you see when things aren't working and you change them to work properly so if you are advertising a channel um eight hours a day doing the right things uh, you will be successful doing it just don't be stupid about it i will um eventually someday uh tell you where i heard that but i don't remember right now I just wish I could take 
six months off of work and do that eight hours a day 40 hours a week at least to get a career going in something I like to do but I don't have I have a family I have to support them I can't have them eating Roman uh, noodles for six months while I am living out on the streets or in a car while I figure it out I kind of wish I knew about this YouTube thing before I had a family or else I would spend six months making videos a little different way than these um, because honestly um, I would be making if I had the time I'd be making videos completely different than this and I think when I do have the time and I can do the quote unquote real videos with the edits and ethos style or a real vlog type channel um because there are a couple of things I wanted to do I I don't know if you guys have heard of the uh nerd fighters or even like Philip DeFranco making the videos like that with the edits I've done it in the past and I think if I you know had a set lost a little more weight so people's first reactions because for people's first reactions when they see me are dear god look how big he is <laughs> um if that isn't the first reaction i w would be happy doing informational videos um what's the guy that i there was a guy that was doing hermit craft he left hermit crafts um, and he started doing these sciencey videos. I would love to do that. But those sciencey videos take a lot of work and take a lot of energy. And hey, it's not nighttime. Surprise! Um, hmm, where was I going? If I could do that, you know, make science videos and I have space engine on my computer to do the videos like him I think it's bum whack or what I see um when Etho and Doc went over to Hermitcraft I didn't really know much about Hermitcraft so I subscribed to all of them and as soon as I subscribed to him uh he stopped making Minecraft videos but I watched his science each ones and philosophy philosophy type ones and I, they really interested me. I am gonna. Do I have two more diamonds? Yes, I do. I am gonna make a sword because even with the sharpness four book, I can at least put it on the sword with this beautiful thing I have yet to use. Perfectly made. Yes. So let me see what the sword can get me. Unbreaking. Yeah. I hear an Enderman. Come here. And during the day, they don't stay aggro on you. So it's hard to get these Endermen pissed off at you during the day. There you are. Come on. Get back over here. I know you can do it. Come on. Where did you go? Yeah, it's no, it's almost useless to aggro an Angerman during the day. Let's hope something else is on this. Yeah, I'll take it. So what I think I'm going to do... Is combine these two. At least I have a fortune too. No. I am not going to combine them two. I'm going to put you in here. And if I, I'm just going to silk touch. What are we going to get with the, what are we going to get with this? Sharpness four. That's what I've already got. I could, I could do that. Well, I need to get levels and I can make a sharpness five. 
But really, is that worthy? Thoughts.